Is he okay? Ryan? 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 Call 911. Come on, buddy. Ryan. So SADS is an acronym. It stands for Sudden Arrhythmia Death Syndromes and includes a variety of disorders that we're learning more and more about every day. SADS conditions refer to a group of diseases that interfere with either the electrical or muscle systems of the heart. This causes abnormal heart activity. Even though the conditions have always existed, they didn't have the term SADS to describe them until recently. This has made awareness of the shared warning signs dangerously low. The SADS conditions seem to be characterized by an increased incidence of warning signs such as fainting during exertion, fainting during excitement or agitation, or a family history of those sorts of faints or sudden death. Michaela Ahern was a competitive figure skater and in university when she recognized that something was not right. It started in the morning in class and it felt like someone was pounding on the inside of my ribcage and it, like it was skipping beats. Um, so I was too embarrassed to go to the emergency room because I had already been there and they said it was normal. Despite being told it was just stress, Michaela persisted in getting the attention she needed. I went home um, two weeks later around there for reading week on Friday night and I went, I had a seizure at home. Um, and then that's when I was readmitted, and at that point they said that I wasn't going to go home until I had an ICD put in. Because fainting is so common, the warning signs for SADS can easily be missed. But any time a young person faints during exercise or excitement, they should have a cardiac assessment to avoid the worst case scenario. I think it's one of the you most may recognize Dr. Greg Wells from his work explaining issues affecting elite athletes during the Vancouver Olympics. If you think He's familiar with SADS match, because of all the high-profile deaths that have happened in athletes, and he wants to get the word out that this affects people all across the board. We're at a point now where society is becoming aware of sudden arrhythmia death syndrome. Unfortunately, it's happened because there's been a number of high-profile cases in the media. People might think that it's mostly a problem that athletes have, but the reality is that the athletes are the ones who are in the news. Fainting during exercise isn't normal. Dizziness during exercise isn't normal. Those are the warning signs that need to be taken seriously so that we can make sure that if there is an underlying problem, it is diagnosed properly and the young person who's involved in physical activity can return to participation safely. For six years, we were outpatients at, at our children's hospital. Um, many, many visits, um, many, many phone calls and messages to neurologists, two cardiologists with Jessica. Um, but the last time we were, were there was about, um, I guess about six, seven months before she passed away and he turned to Jessica and he said, you need to go home and learn how to breathe through this. And he turned to me and he said, and don't waste your money on an ambulance. Every time your daughter has an episode. I was very fortunate. My last words, I love you. Parents, coaches, teachers, people who are aware of a warning sign having occurred, get that young person referred to a physician, preferably a specialist with familiarity with these conditions. It's a treatable disease. It's treatable. $14 a month medication at the, at the best case scenario, an ECG, ICD for worst case.
you can live more than a normal life. You can, you can live a, a beautiful life, I think. <laughs>